Hey guys, what is up? I should have got some video footage of this. I did not. However, Hi. we cleaned out the sheep run today and I built a hay bunk for them. So deep bedding pack is good for summer, right down to the concrete, minimal shoveling. I'm happy girl. Um, I built this hay bunk similar to the one inside for the goats. So this is great. This is going to be so much easier. We were just tossing the hay in. So this is good and we can put the sheet back in here. I have another project that I'm going to do quickly. Um, and I'll catch you up with that here in a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to grab the sheep because they're out in the pasture and I'm going to put them away. Now, I have a question. Some of you might be new here and I will go over this real quickly. Um, about well, a month and a half ago, I received a letter from my large animal vet whom we've had for years and years and they dropped us. They dropped us because we were now outside of their area uh, because they have limited staff. So we called other vets, but other vets have limited staff. There's only a few in our area and they're not taking new customers, new clients. Therefore, we're left without a big animal vet. So that gives you some backstory, okay? Meanwhile, I have some probably close to 200 animals here with the chickens and the turkeys and everything, once they've all been added in and all the cows and sheep and everything else, well, we're left with nobody, okay? So we're using old fashioned granny medicine here. Um, so that gives you some backstory and some context. 101? Yeah. Look at Scotty. Anyways, um, I have a U with bottle jaw. So I, from what I understand, the, uh, the warmer that you get is from the vet. It's a prescription for bottle jaw. I can't get that. I no longer have a vet and they won't fill my prescriptions. So I'm asking you guys, do you have any remedies? Are there good warmers for it? I, of course, am going to be doing some research and try to um, see what I can come up with on my end. But I figured I would ask you guys, throw it out there to you guys because some of you are extremely knowledgeable and might be able to help me out. This is just a real yucky situation we're in without having a vet, right, Harley? Uh -huh. And so we're just trying to meander through. So if you guys have suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If, if not, <laughs> send us your good vibes and good thoughts. We'll figure it out, we'll find something for. Her. But anyways, we're gonna get these girls in. And now that I have gotten their pen cleaned, I'm going to try to shear them this week during the evenings, so. That's what we're up to. I'm gonna put the sheep away. Oh, Scotty! You put Scotty down. I was gonna. I was I gonna introduce everybody formally. This is Scotty. Yeah, now, yeah, some of you may have noticed that we use um, like god and goddess names for our goats. We just thought it was really, really cute. This little precious one. I think she's gonna have blue eyes. She's the lightest cream that you could possibly be. And so we named her Scotty. S K A D I because Scotty was um, not really a goddess of winter, but she lived high up in the mountains and she's usually associated with snow and winter. And with her coloration, we thought, well, that's just the perfect name. That's just the perfect name. <laughs> so, anyways, we love her. A little update also. Let me put you guys down because I'm like jiggling you all over the place here, and that's that's never a good time for anybody. Me, you anybody okay almost there okay you don't care a little update on tiny tim unfortunately tiny tim did not make it so we um he had like that night overnight he had a drastic turn for the worse he had been breathing fine he had been nursing fine uh, until he wasn't in the middle of the night he started gasping for air again so we hurry up and gave him um, some dexamethasone because I had that on hand to help with lung development and then um, you know he lost his desire to eat and he never did poop he, he peed 
all over me, <laughs> but he never did poop. And I just think that he was just so undeveloped that maybe things were not completely developed inside. Also, I watch uh, Sandy Brock, which is sheepishly me, and I've learned so much from her over the years. And she's had a lot of lambs, not a lot, but she's had lambs delivered. She calls them mummies usually. Um, they're always stillborn and she usually describes them as rubbery. And I never really grasped the concept of what that meant until he was born. By all rights, he probably should have been stillborn. He had, his body was just completely flaccid. He had no ability to stand or use his legs to put any pressure on them whatsoever. His whole body was just kind of gimpy. So, um, you know, we did the best we could for him. We tried to make his life as comfortable as possible. And unfortunately we lost him in just less than 24 hours. So that was kind of tough because you want to be able to save them all. Um, you don't want to, you know, do wrong by them. And I think we exhausted probably all options for him. He just, I don't think he would have, I don't think he would have had a normal life had he survived anyway. So there's that. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that little guy, but his twin sister is doing excellent. So, all right, I'm going to put these yous away and then we're going to get started on my next project. Okay, very quickly, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing. This is a utility sink base. It used to hold up a concrete sink. Well, it looked like the perfect size for a milking stanchion for a bigger goat. So I cut these pieces of wood to fit and I'm going through, I'll line them up as I go. I'm going through with the drill and I'm tapping holes and then I'm going in with the, well, the roofing nails, but I'm screwing the decking down to the steel frame. So this will be pretty good. And then I still have to do the head gate and everything, but this is gonna be a great second milk stanchion. We have that one down there, <clears throat> but this one I think is going to be the favorite once it's done. So, plus that one's kind of tall when you're looking at like a Nubian goat. So this one's going to be much, much, much better. So yeah, I'm gonna put you guys on time-lapse and finish this up. guys <laughs> check it out it's so good okay so my boards aren't perfectly even but i also did not use a tape measure look harley can you oh my gosh close it up oh come on <laughs> oh man you know yeah, the little neck hole's a little crooked. Mm -hmm. It's fine. This is literally... Look, look, character. An enormous improvement. Can I show the last one? <laughs> mm, they've seen the last one. I'm not a carpenter, but I play one on TV. Anyways, um, this, is a, this, is, this is great. I'm so excited about this. With our other stanchion, yeah, it works good. It's super wobbly. Um, it's like it makes a good feel, kind of like. Yeah, it's very, very wobbly. And it doesn't have the head like this. It just has two boards that kind of like come together at the top and they can pull their head out. Look, it's not wobbly. Yeah, climb up there. Look, it's so good. I'm just tickled. Anyways, we're gonna pick up the other one. Actually, no, I think we are gonna leave it over here. Yeah. I think we will leave this one over here because the chickens kinda tend to crap on that one. If we get rid of it, we'll just leave it out. Yeah, anyways, that's our new milk stanchion. So let's go check on how the sheep are doing. Well, look at that. Yeah, everything's uh, nice, look. They're really enjoying their new hay bunk. I 
Yeah. Everything looks so good. All right, guys. Um, what a busy but very productive day. It started, we, we did egg delivery this morning. Huh? Oh, yeah. Then we came home and putzed around a little bit. Um, went and picked up some tea posts that the neighbor gave us. Biscotti. That's biscotti. A little tiny duckle. Why don't you ta actually take that back with the others? Yeah, yeah, take it back. I have sawdust all over me, so don't mind me brushing stuff off. That took cleaning the sheep pen didn't take nearly as long as it used to, but it did take some time. Hold on, I'm... it's starting to get dark. The stanchion. I'm so excited with that. I I just think that that's great. We'll probably put some footage in for you guys to see the goats on it, but it's such an improvement on that. Just show them how wobbly it is. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. So, huge improvement. That's why, that's why I keep my wood piles. That's why I keep my, uh, hold on, let's move away from the light here. There we go, that's better. That is why I keep my scrap wood pile, guys. Because all of that came from scrap wood. That came from wood that was ripped off of a ramp that was built um and so yeah i mean i just had it piled up over here yep. it's perfect it was perfect and it cost me zero dollars so it was a scrap base and scrap wood and i got um i don't know was it it wasn't at an auction it was at a yard sale i went to one time you know those little plastic old-fashioned like hardware drawers well, I bought one and it had a bunch of miscellaneous hardware. So the bolts, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the bolts and the little latch came out of that. And I think I probably paid like two. more of those latches. <laughs> I think I probably paid two bucks for that a like, long time ago. So yeah, this entire project was free. The entire sheep hay bunk was free. It's all scrap wood, guys. Don't overlook scraps. When you're tearing something apart, if it looks like it could be reused, even if it's a shorter piece, just hang on to it. That's my best, that's my best advice because right now everything is so expensive. If you can, if you can save money here and there, you're winning. Yep. That's gonna do it for. <laughs> that is not a turkey vulture. That is just a turkey. Oh no, Harley, go get him out of there. He can't roost up there. He'll, he'll come down. He'll come down. He does it every day. He actually goes up in the rafters, up into the reeds over in the rafters. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm covered in sawdust. I have a very early morning tomorrow. I will take you guys along with me. So that'll be fun. It's this weekend. So, yeah, that's going to do it. I'm going to get barn work done now that I got all the fun work done. Yep. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.